All right, we out here. We're in LA, downtown LA. We, we are in the downtown LA. Oh my so, <coughs> we came to eat at a place called Sticky Rice. Sticky Rice. I'm a sticky boy, and uh, it's like a little market in super downtown. Yeah, like, look. There's a ton of shit in here. They have a whole bunch of restaurants here. It's super dope, um, but of course we choose Thai food. This is khao soy, which is like a curry soup, uh -huh. Thai curry soup. And I got the tom yam, it's called hoi ka. Uh, as you guys know, we love tom yam noodle. And Donnie boy got a Thai tea because he's... And a sticky rice. And a sticky rice. Are you good, man? You good? <laughs> I don't, you don't want to be sticky rice. Here. You don't no want to be too full before the. Yeah, I know there are. That's how you get the full effect of really being in Thailand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like you're being mosquitoes. <laughs> but you don't, you know, you don't want to eat too much before going to uh, the Jordan event. So we're here. We're out here for the Jordan event. We're excited. I got the LeBron 16s on. The what does? And Donny Boy's got the infrared sixes. Infrared sixes. I don't know. He like, he like never wears those, so it's a special event when he wears them, you know. Yeah. But anyways, uh, we're gonna eat and we're gonna head over to the uh, place we're supposed to meet and apparently they're supposed, they're, they're gonna drive us somewhere. I think they're gonna drive us to the event, right? Yeah, so uh, we're gonna eat, do a quick little, little munch and uh, we'll see you guys there. Alright, we just got our... I don't know, where's the, we got, got our Jordan wristbands. We're at a hotel right now. We're fanned up. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're meeting at this location and then they're taking us somewhere. They're gonna explain to us in a minute what the hell's going on. And sorry we can't story anything, guys, but it's on embargo, so we're not allowed to. But of course, you guys are gonna see this in the vlog, but this is gonna be like a day after or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone's here. Everyone's inside. Got the What the LeBrons and the infrared sixes and, uh, Everyone inside is wearing either threes or fours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, those are dope. But anyways, uh, what do you think, dude? I don't know. What are they gonna do? I feel like they're definitely gonna unveil the, yeah. the 33, right? It's pretty much known. Are there gonna but... be any like players though, like like Victor Oladipo? Who else is it? Who else plays Maybe. for Jordan? They did that photo shoot with who? Oladipo and who else was it? Someone else. It's you know the silhouette. Did you see that? Mm. Oh, it was, a, it was a girl, right? Oh, one of them I think it was a girl. Oh. And I think the other one was Victor. I don't know, but who else is a Jordan athlete? Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler's Jimmy gonna Butler. be here. Yeah, oh, yeah like an Air Jordan pool. Yeah, yeah Jimmy yeah. Butler. That would be cool if they if they were here. Kawhi, right? Kawhi, yeah. Andre I'll ball, Drummond, I'll ball too. Him up. Or, uh, yeah, Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond. Yeah, Andre Drummond. He was wearing the hustles. I think he's, yeah. he's the guy that main guy that's wearing the hustles. Right. Uh, those are super dope, yeah. Um, but yeah, if they're gonna unveil it. It's gonna be super dope. Uh, we'll see you guys there. Welcome to the flight lab. You got your. Oh, I thought you were filming. success now open your eyes everyone wants to achieve greatness but everyone isn't willing to take the leap so we must inspire them. warning the following video is for your eyes only your flight experience will begin in 10 2 1 the history of flight has taken on many evolutions. From its birthplace in North Carolina, mechanically enhanced flight stands in rare air among evolved technologies. 
Flight technology has introduced new possibilities of industrial capabilities and space exploration. Jordan Brand has seen the future and is honored to introduce you to the world of flight utility, a new design ethos developed to take human flight to the next level. Designed for performance, distinct through style, from the court to the street, you are here to experience those new possibilities. It all starts with the Air Jordan 33. Prepare to fly. Please approach the Air Jordan 33. <laughs> kind of freaking out <laughs> with the red light, bro. That's not good lighting for me. Oh, dogs, man. So. We're about to go on the elevator, huh? Yeah. Elevator. Yo. No, we're back in the chamber right now. Uh, we got some sketches. That's kind of cool. That's cool. That's dope. Um, here's the 33. I think this is my favorite colorway, or one of them, so far. This one's the coolest. I like this one the best. Yeah, I think that's like the main one they're gonna go with look at, like, for the, the first trial. Look at the Velcro and stuff. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So obviously you have this works. pull to tighten system here. Yeah. And then this actually spins this mechanism under here. This is the mechanism right here. Right here. Apparently. It's crazy. Wow, that's kind of cool. So and then the materials, it goes over here. Oh. Yeah, and then the traction looks crazy too. It's like that nub pattern almost like from the 360. Yeah, and then the, I don't know what this is. Is this a chink plate? Plastic chink, chink plate right Probably. here, outrigger for the outrigger. But look at these laces are like um, fishing wire. Yeah. The fishing line, it's that they're so thin, it's crazy. That's crazy. The materials are pretty nice too. It's like a ballistic nylon type of material. You got some fuse. Super breathable. I think the only only thing that the this took from the Jordan 3 is this yeah. part right here. Yeah. This part. I think one of them had like elephant print on it. Yeah, one of them did. Yeah. Um, and then on the other side, we can't show you, but there's a lot of dope stuff on the other side that way. For the holiday season. Yeah, we, we can't show you, but. Yeah, but check out some other colorways here. So like right here, you have, I guess, a lace, and this is those things right here. I guess this goes underneath. There's a mm -hmm. material underneath. This is like neoprene material. It's so weird, man. I gotta, and then, there, yeah, so the tongue is attached to like a, an underlaying material right here. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. I wonder what the cushion is too. Does it say in any of these what the cushion is? There's all is? kinds of little crazy touches on here. Like look at this little pla plastic uh, and what is heel counter piece, clear acrylic or whatever it is. It's a trip. That's really cool. Got these joints, Jordan Proto React. <laughs> So this is React, uh, this is the Jordan 1 and the, what was it, Element? Oh my god, feel that. I can't. Ooh, that's very soft. It'd be cool if they had a React ball shoe, but I guess this is just lifestyle. I'm really liking these upper materials, man. Yeah, They're like really thin, cool. breathable, seem strong, seem, crazy, little, seem powerful. Crazy strap here. Yeah. Look at that. What is this though? I don't know what that is. Oh, you can lace it. So you can lace it anywhere. Also, you get back right here. <laughs> Get an extra set of laces and put them in back. Oh, yeah, so here's the one with the elephant print. Right. Or oh, is this, yeah. Oops. oops. Did I drop them? No, I kicked, I kicked it. Look at that. This is a dope colorway. Yeah, this actually might be my favorite. I mean, you got I don't the know translucent, about the translucent outsole. Though. So I guess we got a hex zoom unit right here. Oh, maybe. In the heel. It's a small baby one, though. Yeah. Oh, the, the cushion also looks like the three, though. The cushion yeah. looks like the three a little bit. That's about it. And then there's a, a little bit of Achilles pillows right here. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of soft. Yeah. Nice. And you have a little strap here as well. That's a weight field. Oh, this is an eject, I guess. It's like you eject. So I guess you want to loosen it? Yeah. Interesting. This colorway. That's kind of cool. Like an aqua mint white. Yeah. 
Yeah. You also got this colorway that was in the, the leaks. Right, I don't really yeah. like this colorway too much, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sammy about to hit them hors d'oeuvres. About to hit them hors d'oeuvres or what? Right here. I'm drinking a little beet juice. Some, I don't know what the hell this is. Look at Sammy, he's gonna ask for a glass of warm milk. What will he get? What will he get? Sammy, what do you think? It's, it's pretty dope. Yeah, I put, I, put, I put it up on IG with three fire emojis and people are hating. Really? They're talking shit. In, in person, people are just better. mad online. Yeah, it does look better but in person. The, uh, the colorway is dope, but I think the overall silhouette is not like super crazy dope. But I feel like performance is going to be crazy. Yeah. I feel like it is, but I don't. Uh, they're saying we're going to be able to check it out upstairs. They have a court upstairs. So, Ooh. yeah, well, I think we're going to play them upstairs. It's going to be dope. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I've been carrying around this camera. With this rig is in like my arms are tired. <laughs> and I got the backpack. Yeah. They eat with drinks. There's food over there. But what do you think though? Um, I, I, I like them. I actually really like them. I mean, I think they're gonna be dope performers. I really like the upper material. The upper material, yeah. Um, I just don't. Ho I hope that like lacing system doesn't add too much weight. You know what I mean? Yeah, that the bottom. I, I yeah. wonder if that's that's gonna be dope. But I mean, I like them aesthetically. Yeah. To be honest, like really? so, yeah, some of the certain some of those colorways, like the black colorway, I, I don't really like the way they look in the blue. But that one, like black hat, you like the black hats. Yeah, the black hats are dope, and then that one that's like brown and blue. You know, uh, yeah, it's like a weird colorway. Yeah, I, I, I like that. Nightbeat over there. Nightbeat's dope. He's a, he's a super nice guy. Oh, I gotta say what up to him. Yeah. Uh, man, there's a lot of there's a lot of people here, so yeah. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Easy on, easy on. It's like that comfort and that fit, but um, but also the distinctions for the brand. So is this strictly like a lifestyle play? Yeah, that's a lifestyle play. And then, you know, flat utility kind of inform the 33, again, leading with innovation. I think for us, as we move forward, it's really standing for innovation. It's the first visible technology for the 33. And so, uh, some of the insights around lock us down, so we can fly from our athletes. So, how can we create a lacing system that maybe didn't have this? Pull the lacing system, you'll see the track uh, rotator around. Right. It's really crazy. So, what's the idea behind going away from traditional lacing? Is that something that you guys heard from athletes? Or? Yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, one of the things that we, we heard is a lot of athletes want to make sure that they have zero distractions on their feet. So, one of the things that we wanted to accomplish with this is when you think about if I'm planting really hard and I'm going to cut, trying to get from point A to point B, if there's too much room in my shoe or if I feel like it's too loose, subconsciously you're thinking before you even make that plan. Yeah. And so we wanted to make sure we had zero distractions uh, for the athlete. And one, one of the best ways to keep him locked on the foot frame was to utilize uh, the fast foot technology. It always keeps you up, keeps you locked in. The other thing that was really cool about it is we also heard that there were athletes like when they go on the sideline or even at halftime, sometimes they want to loosen up their foot. And so you yeah. have the ability, yeah, to, to loosen it up whenever you want to whenever you feel you need it. And so, uh, you know, sometimes you're allowed the circulation, you kind of go back, and when you're ready to plug in and go back, boom. You know, yeah. One time and you're good. Yeah. And then this is a zoom unit here and here? Yeah, so we have a uh, heel zoom, uh, zoom back, and four foot zoom back. Right. The rest, the rest of the cushion is like a pylon? Uh, yes, yes. And then we have pylon cushioning throughout the mid zone. Right. And you guys also have a... A, a torch, a ocean plate? Yeah, so, so there's a plate inside. This is really more of a TPU piece, a little bit uh, for a little more stability in the shoe. Uh, so yeah, the, the combination of the TPU plate um, uh, will allow the shoe to kind of be a little more sturdy. And we actually learned that way back in the day with the 11 when you know, Michael had finer fasciitis. We knew that we needed to build a plate on the platform that was a little bit stiffer so that you know, we wouldn't cause the arches to fall. And so, ever since then, we've tried to incorporate that to some degree. The funny story, this whole bunch of aeronautics. You need to see. Is this Travis Scott? Are they going to release these or what? I don't know. Yeah, Travis Scott. Look at that. 
they were in the next room here. They got to break down some of the tech. Look at that. Here's some pictures. Look at that. See, this looks like a lot like the three to me. Yeah. There's the flight. There's the strap system. Look at this system here. That's the, the actual device. What if it works? Don't touch that sound. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> you got scared. Same boy got scared real quick. What is this though? Look at Dang. that. That's a lot of These are like I would just I would just straight rock just this. Is that? I would rock just this. <laughs> it's kinda dope. Um that was the one that kind of inspired. That's just clay. Yeah. Plastic. Do you start with that? Start with I don't clay. know. I don't know. Look at the zoom back. Oh, that's cool. It's a real hex. Look at that. It's a real genie. Yeah. It's pretty thick. That is thick. I would say like what, 14? 15, 15 mil. mil. Probably looking at 15 mil. Look at that. What about this? This is oh, it's nice. pretty thick too. It's a nice it's unit. It's a nice unit. Look at that. It's a big unit. Oh, then look at how the system is implemented in here. Wow. So this, this is just a straight phylon. Do we have to take pictures of Which it is phylon. So, you know, we're able to do that. Um, so that's, that goes to the lake. Mm -hmm. And that's the pull tab right here. Yeah. Uh, that's really cool. If you look at all the, the revision, all the red lines are revisions. Um, wow. I, I would say, like, every time you move the cable just a little bit, um, it affects your forefoot lockdown, it affects your heel lockdown. So, balancing it just right so this feels good and the heel feels good. Um, and then also, you know, Michael really challenged us to expose the cable in the forefoot. Um, I mean, we could have easily just hidden everything, but um, we wanted someone to be able to pick it up and, and pull it and to actually see what was going on that your forefoot was being locked down. Mm -hmm. um, and that was actually kind of cool because it gave us, it actually created an icon for the shoot. Uh, and some, you know, places for us to put materials. Um, so I think we're, we're going to be able to do a lot of different colors and materials for this one as well. So we got, this is, these are some samples right here. We finally met Nightwing. Yeah. Down to be in the vlog. Yo, <laughs> How's it going? the legend. Yeah, he is the legend, he's the OG. Really? So, anyway, so we got the, so this is the, I, I guess the flight, flight play right here. Yeah. And then here is the actual system right here. And here is the final missile. That's cool. And then this unit would basically go in there. Right, so this goes right here. This. You got the zoom unit. This is a real zoom unit, guys. Look at that. And then here is the rubber outsole right here. Okay, that's really cool. This is a big size, like a third. That better grip. Yeah, this better grip. Better <laughs> grip. Yeah, go, go to the designer and be like. Here's the uh, transitions. I guess they start either here or here. Yeah. Go here, start figuring out materials. Like he was telling us. Yeah. And what's going on here? It's the next iteration where they start implementing the lace system, which is like fishing line. It's crazy. It's just like, look at this. It's hard to see this black color way on film, but they really tore through this piece here. Um, it's like a neoprene underneath everything. And you lay it out to here. We just got a bunch of intel on the 33. Yeah, this is the. Uh, is a prototype. Yeah, this is a prototype. Like they changed a lot. He said right here. You see, you see the red. The red uh, line is, is all. They're all revisions. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Um. So this is a prototype. Early prototype. It's like a one booty with like the material. This really is. It reminds me of the three tone. Yeah. That's crazy. But then of course. And then you have the elephant print up here, of course. Yeah. This piece reminds us of the, of the three. But other than that. Yeah. You got this. On the shoe, you can see the cable. Yeah. 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 Alright, so they got this plate, no. and then this tongue is uh, actually like la uh, held down by an elastic. That's not even elastic, it's not elastic. Yeah. yeah. From four foot or you um, it's all It's all kind of integrated, so you pull it and it's going to lock down everywhere around your foot. Um, if it's not tight enough, you can pull more. 
um, you kind of hear it click, but then if you want to let it let it out, you just pull the eject cord, and then it'll loosen, okay. and then you can do it again. Yeah. So you can keep pulling it to get tighter? Yeah, you'll hear it click, 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 oh, click, right. click, and it gets, you just feel uh, it get tighter, and then eventually it, it just kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. Will it loosen when you play? Um, you have something back that, you know, your foot moves around a little bit, and, but the, the best thing about it is you can just yeah. pull it and, and tighten it. Yeah, so. you, hear, you hear it kind of pop. I think we might get shoes here. Welcome, group Brad. It is time to gear up and get ready for flight. Once we call up your name, please take a step forward and we will hand you your uniforms. The men's locker rooms will be to your right and the women's locker rooms will be to your left. Once you guys get in there, please change out of your clothes and interior uniforms and bring back your belongings to us. We will hold them and store them until the end of the experience, alright? Ready for flight? Oh, ooh. Fitted. Sammy Lee here. <laughs> Damn, you got a pair. Donnie Boy doesn't get a pair though. No, I get nothing. <laughs> they always do me dirty. Donnie Lee. Donnie Lee. Donnie Lee. This is always make me fly, make me fly, make me jump high, right? So, as I walk through downstairs, what you got underfoot is a full max zoom bag under your forefoot. You got a hex bag in your heel. And then you got an updated flight speed plate, which features 4% more carbon. What that does is it basically makes it lighter and it makes it stronger. The flight speed plate also unlocks the zoom in the, in the forefoot. Um, in the past, zoom bags are often glued inside and kind of traps the bag from being responsive. This is unlocked, so you'll feel a really bouncy, stringy feel underneath your foot. Um, and it makes it lighter and gives you more propulsion. Um, then when you get into the, in the upper, um, we've stripped away material where, everywhere where we don't need it. Putting a lightweight textile and then putting synthetic overlays only where you need that support laterally and in your heel. And then obviously, Fast fit system is the hero. It's the, it, obviously there's no laces on this shoe. So as we all know, even as adults, none of us want to tie our shoes. Um, so we, we're the first to market in basketball. So what's going to happen, I'll show you guys how to use it. So basically, you got to make sure you're unlocked. So you're going to press this, pull this eject. You're going to slip in. One pull, you're going to hear an audible click. You can click it up to 20 times, depending on how, how you, what your foot width is. Then you're gonna strap in for ankle support, and then you're in there. Now, during the game, why that's so dope is that basically any time out, any time you sit on the bench, whenever you're in the game, you can always adjust it. You can unlock it, let your foot breathe, so you get more blood flow and circulation in your body, um, which is really cool. Get those athletes go longer and stronger. Then, what's most important is also how to get out of it. So, when you guys go to take it off, you're gonna unstrap, and then what's important is you pull this eject and you're gonna hear another audible pop. And then it unlocks and you're out. Oh my God. Ooh, that was, it was a, it was a dope event. Uh, we got we got some music, we're at Pot Ward. Donnie Boy's favorite Thai restaurant. Hey, we here? double timed him. I know, we, we, we got, I'm getting, I'm getting the same exact dish. <laughs> I got the same exact dish as uh, a few that's hours ago. We're hungry, we're gonna eat. We're gonna go home and film the Jordan 33, of course. Uh, thoughts on that will be coming soon. But the Jordan event was super dope. Also met Nightwing. Super, super dope. Super nice guy. Um, you know, he's one of the reasons why I started, you know, the channel, and I, the, one of the reasons why I love uh, basketball shoes. So uh, shout out to him, Nightwing. Super dope guy. Um, this boy is. This boy is beast. I'm hungry. And you get some carrots and, and, and shit? There's some vegetables, man. Oh my god. Is that just, what is that? Vegetables, vegetables, stir fry with chicken. Uh, Alright, just got the tom yam noodle. My favorite. I love the beef. Do you guys like liver? This is liver right here. I love liver. Boy's oh, nasty. Um, fish ball. I don't really like, this is um, pork. Uh, ground pork, right? What is this? Ground beef? I don't, I don't really know what that is. It's ground chicken. Well, I forgot to ask for no none of this. I don't like this too much. Yeah. I got the extra noodle because I'm the a noodle boy, and I got limes. The, the lady was just gave it to me because she knows that I, I want limes. So she's like, here you go. Oh yeah. Donny boy got also got his with a large because mm -hmm. he's a 
He's a hungry boy. I'm a big boy. He's a big boy. But anyways, I, I, I of course I finished my Thai tea. Donny boy. Well, where, you why is your, up on that tea. Why is, savor it. <laughs> why savor is your Thai tea still there, man? No, you gotta savor it. I eat mine. In, I drink mine in like 10 seconds. You know. Again, shout out to Jordan Brand. Uh, thank you guys for uh, inviting us out there. Um, and uh, that's the vloggy. We're gonna we're about to film. That's why we're here. Yeah. Uh, we're about to film the Jordan 33. Want want to get that video out as soon as possible. Tired. Yeah, we're super tired though. I'm, I'm like I'm driving all like. Driving in LA makes you really tired. He's dealing with LA is just like, uh, just yeah. draining. This boy's tired, Parking. so he's sitting down. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's that's like the uh, recap of the Jordan event. Tell us what you guys think of the 33. Um, and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next video. Later. Peace.